You going? Yes. Right. Rotate your vice. Well, I can't see. So. I'm not turning it. There you go. We're back. Yay. Now we're going to try and build a cot traditionally. Uh, my How daughter, traditionally? Uh, like how many years old are we talking here with this tradition? Oh, tradition. five thousand. The Chinese did it five thousand <laughs> years ago. Now you really? see, this, this is the day before before we had um, scissors. We used to go like that. See, it's, too, isn't it? <laughs> it's got tough old Australia. Now we've got uh, we've got the equivalent of the width of the kayak is the width of the paper. So now we have to. After that, Jesus Christ. So now we have to join the two pieces of dowel together. But the only way we can do it is. Yeah, how are you doing the knot? It's just a bloody knot, Samantha. Why can't you tell somebody to get knotted? You get a knot. <laughs> you could glue it, you could screw it, but it's not going to be as good as um, putting a knot on there. So I'll just show you. In my another life as a Boy Scout, we used to have to learn to tie knots, but it's always been a bit of an interesting exercise. So in the middle, and then we take it over. It's very hard to show. Do but you want me to yeah, hold if you something? can hold it, make yourself useful. This and that, all right? So we're doing it, it's, it's like a timber hitch, old fashioned timber hitch. and just creates tension, like father and daughter. <laughs> and you go over and over and over, and eventually- On the diagonal, or? No, just right angles. You just hold it tight. Let's do a close up. No, let's look, you can see, look. I don't think anybody can see. Anybody can see it. Yeah, that's I a don't knot. think anyone can see it. Yes, they can. If it's not everyone, I wouldn't be able to see it. Well, you're bloody stupid. I'm not. Put down stupid. the right, the right angle. Way right angle. <laughs> it's like I'm building a cross for somebody. <laughs> or a dead pet in a garden. <laughs> It's got to be squared. Don't try. Well, what am I doing? I'm just holding it. Well, look, you're the one that's taking the tension. Square. See right square. angles. See right angles. <laughs> oh, bugger! Now I'm in trouble. Angry tying. No weak string. <laughs> weak string, actually. Grumpy old man tying. Break the string. <laughs> Don't make string like they used to. Now we do a, a reef knot. This is very good because it won't come undone. Are you going to tell people how to make a reef knot? No, it's a secret Boy Scout business. What? That's silly. If you really want to know, it's right over left and left over right, and they'll give you a reef knot. It means it won't come undone. See, I do remember things from childhood. <laughs> it was a long time ago, they mind you, between you and me. Let's create a bit of tension here. Well, not too much tension. I'll oh, shut up. I'm going to break the string again. So it only and, you're, has... and you're winding it around that way now, are you? Like around. Well, because I don't know. I haven't seen this before. I'm Look, sure it's, a lot it's not done. I'm sure a lot of other people haven't seen this before. Oh, God, please. Like myself. Would anybody like to adopt a 33 year old? <laughs> don't tell people my real age. All right, a 30 odd year old. <laughs> Say free something. Good... Remember the rules on my free last birthday. Good, free to a good home. <laughs> Anyone would be good. Now, look at that. We don't have to build it, it's like it's going to be a building a raft to sail across the Pacific. It's just enough to secure it into the same position because we get some tension. Flying it. Pardon? Well, we'll be flying it. Have you got it. a knife? Oh, you, you're the one that had all the ingredients. The, the, uh, I was going to say ingredients. We're not baking cake, are we? She can't cook either, so if you are a doctor, don't expect her to cook. <laughs> it's bloody useless. It doesn't follow a recipe. But you know what I can do? I can draw a picture. So she, so she thinks, anyway. All right, now we're going to cut the paper. Ah. Don't move anything. I'm not doing anything. Good. Cut it straight. Bit jagged. She hasn't got a clue. Bit jagged. The jaggedness has got nothing to do with well, Samantha. Well, it makes it look pretty. Oh, God. Oh, we're getting serious now. Yeah, we're, we're going to draw some table. holes in the, uh, in the dowel. So we're going to thread the outline <laughs> string on. Oh wow, we are getting so serious. See, I have all these things here, so that if I ever lose them, somebody borrows them. I wouldn't borrow a drill bit. You'd know what but to do, I, would you? Why would I borrow a drill bit? Scare me. Right. Do it just a moment. The door's closed. I think that was my two-year-old closing the door. Nope, that was my mum closing the drawer. The door to her quilting room, because we're She's too loud. She's not <laughs> She's not happy in the quilting department. <laughs> I think we're in trouble here. I think we are. Could be a quiet night. <laughs> All right, now. And flick up. Oh, what am I doing? Just, just, just don't touch anything. 
Now we're going to drill some holes here, it's just to say that I can save me trying oh to um, oh. save me trying to oh, wind it around. All right? Can you see that? This just does not look how it should is. I said the bluntest bloody drill bit in the world. <laughs> Oh wow, I've got you a sucking shit. Look at it, I'm just like, this is a. Ah. She couldn't save herself. Look at that. She couldn't save herself in a bucket of water. I got triple zero on my phone ready to go. <laughs> God. Almost done, we've got one more to go. <clears throat> Very cool. Riveting, isn't it? It's riveting. so Absolutely exciting. Riveting. riveting. Ow. Oh no, you're not riveting. I actually don't know what riveting is, but we could have had a really punny joke just then. Riveting. Just remember, free to a good heart. <laughs> I'll even pay it. How's that? <laughs> Alright, now we need some string. What we're gonna do, um, this will frame this will create the frame for the, the kite or the paper which we have to um which we have to glue on the outside of the paper. It's very technical, this. You need glue, I have glue. Yeah, of course I've got glue. Oh, I was just checking, well, you didn't have the scissors, did you? I'm hanging Do on the have? kitchen bloody huh? pot frame. You're watching this is very intelligent. <laughs> Mesmerising, isn't it? It's um, mesmerised by the thread of the needle. It's always somebody's got to interrupt somebody, all the time. Yeah. I feel like it's John Newman. Who's John it's, Newman? He's a very, very famous Australian football commentator. People of a certain age know all about it. Well, definitely of a certain age. You are then. I haven't heard him. John Newman. Who's John Newman? John's, John Newman, if you're watching, give us a shout out. John Sam Newman. He's probably even. No. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. <laughs> he used to be 70s though. Oh, well, then he's definitely not watching this. Village. This might sure be the most intelligent thing you're going to see today. Raining outside. Well, you can even do like a national weather forecast while learning how to dictate a guy. Dictator Dan still got us locked down in Victoria. <laughs> yes, yes. We're not in lockdown still. No, <laughs> but regional Victoria, we can go out and walk in the park. Which is nice. Poor old Melbourneites. No nights. Alright, now what we have to do, we have to secure one end of the kite, which will just tie it. Don't and what me. kind of knot are you doing? Braham. It's a knot that says get knotted. Do you understand that? I think if people of a certain age would. <laughs> I don't think people of a certain age would be watching this video. She said those perfect words, I don't think. Did you get that? Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, now, see this? nasty pasty. It's the frame of a kite. It's really good. Cool. Thank you. Get the bloody camera out of the way. Hey, do you want to have it? Yeah, get rid of it. I'll have it. I'm sure we've got enough. Alright. Is it supposed to be like really tension or just like, just so? Like, honest question. Like, well, look at it. How much tension do you need? Well, I don't know. Oh, I don't okay. know because it was wobbling. Well, it's only it's tied not like together by a piece of like string. It's like tension like a guitar string. Well, you're not playing the guitar. No, but I'm just saying that's the tension I was comparing it to with, like, do you need a te tension? Tench. So much tension you can have in a household. So much tension you can slice the butter. All right. I need something to poke this through here. Possibly a smaller one would be a good idea. Where's that bag? Bag of goodies. Don't overlay anything to your kids, they never bring it back. I brought back the magnet last night. Well, Today, you brought this, it back morning. this morning. I brought it back this morning. I have two sons. The One's magnet. borrowed a trailer. 
You will never see that trailer again. That he is promised gone. me to bring it back. He's gone. We, and his mother said, well, which year is that going to be? <laughs> oh, I think we're struggling here. Why don't you just tie it to that string? Because I can't. I've got to have a proper bit of tension. Otherwise, it'll drag it across. Well, if you make two holes. I think I might drill another hole. That's a good idea. Oh, an idea is good. Woman. My woman. Oh. Woman, actually, if I was politically correct, I'm an ideas person. So, free to a good home? No. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred dollars, take it. That's <laughs> terrible! <laughs> All right, oh 25. my god, you just slipped at this. Oh my god. Turn here light fires, rubbing two sticks. This is a <laughs> stick and a piece of steel. It's a start to smoke. <laughs> oh shit, it's a brick. That's all right. That's not, mean... It's just the truth. She wouldn't know what's going no, on. Oh god, I thought that that slipped the first time it no. slipped. And I thought, oh my god, that's a slip. Does the turn drama queen come Does the key the turn drama queen? Oh, we've got a viewer. Yay. Hello, viewer. Free to at home. No. Early 30s. Yes. Can't He's cook. free to a good age care home. <laughs> can't, can't cook. Neither can he. <laughs> Has a daughter. Now, now look at that. Brilliant, isn't oh, it? Look at that in my eyeball. You know, I've been telling my daughter today. Oh, they stop poking mummy in the eye. Oh, stop with With you. a piece of dowel. Sure, sure. I've got, got a, me in the I've eye with a piece of dowel. I've got to concentrate here. This is very important. Yes, the mind works slower in old age. This is secret men's business. I'll just <laughs> tell you later when you know who's not here. Ah, great! What sort of knot are you doing now? Another one called Get Knotted. <laughs> it was very big in the 60s. Go on, Get Knotted. You think you can update your sayings? That's like a billion decades old. But she had you heard... Have you got any news? She it's relevant to today's she, pop she culture. She hadn't heard it before. It's corny. That's retro. It's <laughs> vintage. All right, vintage now, saying. stop talking. You stop talking. I don't know what's good in the lesson here. <laughs> All right, now this is where the riveting part comes. <laughs> All right. Got to centre it down a bit of big bit of paper. Get that out of the way. Not very centre. Centred enough. I, well, I don't think so. That bit's going over the edge over there. Shush. All right. All right, now. I need a pencil. You got a pencil? Can I have a pencil? Yeah, yeah. It looks like right. my pencil. It is, but it was just borrowed. Ah, it's just like the trailer. She's got 300 pencils. Andy, you wouldn't miss one. I do. I need them all. You know what she I just need a billion pencils. You know what she needs with pencils? She needs to clean her ears with them. <laughs> it's very scientific. Actually, you know who would say that? My art students would say that because I can't hear them half the time. I am so deaf. Yeah. Right. What we're going to do is try and produce a wobbly line about no one five centimetres. That's all right. Oh, you get the idea. Five centimetres outside the string. And the idea is to, that we, when we cut this, we fold it over the string, glue it, and then we have to wait for things to dry. Will it fall apart in the wind if it's just glued? Like, oh. legit question. Well, back in when I was a child, which was decades ago, we used to use clag which was essentially just mixed up flour and water. This, oh, because that dries real hard. Now we have this modern thing called Aquadeer. It's far stronger than body Yeah, and, and is it water. called Aquadeer because it's water resistant glue? It doesn't work. It's, well, it's I'm just interested like, to know. It's just, I'd like to know these details. It's just, what if someone buys aqua glue and uses their kite in the rain and then it falls apart? Who goes flying a kite in the rain? Well, when it rains, there's no wind and everything's going to fall apart. That guy who invented electricity. When and flew a kite in the rain. Benjamin, what? whatever his name was, Franklin, or the uh, some yeah. button, or some, you know, the guy. I've always found if you don't know what you're talking about, don't say Well, anything. there was some guy that invented electricity and he flew a kite with a key, a metal key, on the string and he went into the thunderstorm and flew it and conducted electricity from the lightning 
down do his cot and his name not was to a word, someone. A word of this. It was someone. This word of dribble. If you don't know what you're talking about, was. don't say anything. I know it was. I have just yeah, got a clue. No, I'm trying to think. I, well, can't I think. think if, I can't think when you. Well, think I think when you finally get this launched. Yeah, if we if it launches. Get out a thunderstorm. The big piece of wire. <laughs> A a big die of electrocution. And then you'll see where the electricity will run down. So we're doing cutting Stand a couple of centimetres outside the string. Mm -hmm. Not made in China or Taiwan or Mexico or India. Made in Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Which I think, actually, to be honest, I think the paper's a bit thin. Kind of like your brain cells. The withering away. It's a bit thin, the paper, because it's... Um, well, it's just craft paper. No, well, it's brown paper. It should be. What well, if you like waxed it? I was thinking about this so, last night. Like if you wax the paper. Like a, you don't know, wax paper for God's sake. You buy it. No, I'm just. Why would you wax paper? She's trying to be intelligent. It's not. Can be working. creative. Do it from home, save some money. For the people that are still in lockdown can't go anywhere. Oh my God. Burn your candles. You've been out and brought the book yet? The second one's going to be released <laughs> in November. <laughs> My channel to plug your book. The first one's out worldwide. It is. If you get desperate, you want to read something, have a laugh, long suffering family man like me. <sighs> yeah. Life's too short to wear dull shirts too. <laughs> she cut it off last time. I wasn't. Cut it off? No, I didn't. No, yes, she did. No, I did. I had a look at it, and it was wasn't there. She just censored my publicity. <laughs> you not. Uh, right now, we can see that. Can we do this one? We'll do this one. Do you want the glue? Well, let's just fold it over first and get it into the I like to be organised, unlike other people. You couldn't organise yourself out of the paper bag. Out of the bucket. I don't know how you work. You're supposed to organise yourself out of a lunchbox. Let's see if she agrees. All right. <laughs> now, how are you going to put it I'm right? just trying to um, oh, make sure that there's no, it's not get clogged. Get You've got to make sure it's not clogged. Oh, that's so annoying. This is easy. Really? No, this has a hole in here. You're going to get giant gobbly I glue. know. Look who's making this bloody thing. Well, I suffering. question it. There's a hole there. What are you worrying about? I, that's because I unclogged it. You unclogged it. I did. It's like unclogging your nose. <laughs> Do you feel reminiscent of your childhood right now, making this card? No, I feel like I should be doing something far better for myself. <laughs> something selfish, like something a 67-year-old does, wants to do. It's Sitting like, by the fireside, reading your own novel. <laughs> have I told you about a book? <laughs> Bloody riveting it is. Worldwide. If you're desperate, you can buy it through Amazon, eBay, Dimix, Australia. If you're desperate, you can buy it in uh, Walmart in America, Barnes and Noble, Waterstones in the UK. I think we might have. What? I think we might be. Uh, this might be happening actually. Like it might actually work. Of course it'll work. I'm making you it. Think, you think it might actually work? The only problem is the paper may be a bit thin. We don't need to launch this in a gulf or a storm or anything. Well, Edison. Edison was the guy who invented electricity. But I, don't, I can't remember the first name. He what was Edison's first name. He was the name, name of your great great grandfather's brother. Now, come on. What? Thomas Bedrock. Thomas Please. Edison. Oh, there you go. Oh, ah, there we go. Just, Thomas Edison made electricity. Just I think. needs a couple of clues. If <laughs> you didn't know the answer. <laughs> Sometimes words fail you as a parent. I wonder if that viewer on the screen is just mum in the other room watching our video. Your mother will not be, <laughs> your mother will not be watching this, I can guarantee she slammed the door shut because she couldn't stand the drivel you were talking about. I think you, you talk more than me. Well, I've got to get a hard to get a word in here. Oh. Now. You've heard of um, who did the Wright brothers? They invented flight. They made their first plane out of um, paper, fabric, and bits of sticks. So we're well, we're not that far removed, actually. So were the first sort of kites made with fabric, were they? They were made out of fabric. The first, not kites, but the first flight, the first um, heavier-than-air machine was made out of 
fabric, paper, and wood. Ah. Oh. Yeah, see, we've learned something. Like the first, like, aeroplane? The Wright brothers. An aeroplane are you talking about? Of course. Well, I um, couldn't figure out what you meant by machine. It wasn't a flying X. You said heavier than air machine. Freedom of at home. Why people make kites in the first place? Like, I wonder why somebody wanted to fly a kite. Because they had to get away why from their... Why would they want to fly something They there? had to get away from their infuriating was, daughter. Was it like a means of communication? Like, you know, I'll fly my kite here with a secret love message. Or, you know, why did they start making kites in the first place? They were bored out of their brain talking to their families. They had a bit of spare paper left <laughs> and a couple of sticks and a bit of string. I thought, oh, I know. <laughs> Yeah, they're just bored I'll sitting a, in their hut. I'll have a crank building a kite. Hey, I'm hanging out in my hut. You know, all the herding of the sheep's done. I've picked all my berries. I, I might make a kite. Just some good clue. I'm, just, I'm interested to know why do people make kites in the first place. Everything has a practical, you know, reason in their origin story. No well, one did anything for fun back in the 1500s. They weren't having fun back then. They couldn't fly. But only if they flew them or birds. Well, you said at the start. They made a said, box kite first. I believe this is a fact. Oh, okay. built, somebody built a box kite to fly, um, and then they, the old Wright brothers go, hang on, I think we'll build a bigger one. They sat in it there, didn't have a motor or anything, and it got lifted in the wind and off it went. That's I think it flew cool. about 50 metres. That That's the first cool. Bit. That's really cool. Riveting, isn't it? It is. That is fascinating. Take your attention off here. So with these sorts of kites, can you like draw like nice things on them and well, stuff? Like get the kids involved and like, or is it weigh the paper down too much or like what's to go? You weigh the paper down too much. So you can't colour them in? The oh, what would you want to? You can't because colour the, the other crafting. side there because it'll go straight it's like through. A no, crafting. it's not. It's a, it's a reflection of your youth, long lost youth, long time oh, ago. Well, I was doing this for kids craft, but you know. Well. Kids craft. Yes, kids craft. Alright, Aguadir, not Clag. <laughs> Hope this thing flies. Well, we're not going to find out today. No, because the kite is too wet. <laughs> it will be wet and soggy and fall apart. So only use your homemade kite in the non rain. In the non rain? I can't think of what the word is. The non rain. The non rain. I can't think of what it's called. Um, the sun. A windy day. Well, it's not really sunny on a windy day because usually there's clouds. I'll tell you windy, what, I'll pay so you to take her away. So, you know, windy day. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to disappear for 30 seconds, get some yellow tape, and we're going to tape this down so it won't come off. So don't go away. Be amused. What are those We're filming live. Yeah, but I'm going to go and get the tape. run away. Will you go to my room and oh, get the yellow yeah. tape? You can waffle onto people. It's on the bench next to the computer. Cheaper to go and buy one rather than that complicated piece of rubbish you work. Anyhow, hope you're enjoying this because it's summed it on a rainy day. She's taking a long time, isn't she? I could tell you could colour this and it'd be good, but it only complicates things, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> now she's talking to a two year old, an intelligent conversation, wouldn't it? I think a daughter's more intelligent than she is. Here we go. Oh, she's so. Oh. Yeah. You finished? Oh, thanks. That's good. Now, this is super duper yellow masking tape. Very strong, which is just. Well, at least you go to see it in the sky. What? <laughs> Riveting stuff, isn't it? Actually, I thought I was going to buy some blue tape, but this just turned out to be yellow. <laughs> but it does I decided it, yellow instead. That's the only one I had. It works really well, though. It's very, very strong. Which you need if we're going to go up with the stratosphere with this kite in the next day or so. I'm thinking we're going to beat that uh, no, don't spaceship. Even, don't even listen to this Sir, Don't even listen Sir to this kite. Branson guy. I'm sure we're going to beat his spaceship into outer space with our... You got a free home I can come to? <laughs> yeah, you're just leaving now. <laughs> Anywhere will do. Yeah, any any spare aged care aged care spots going? It's not very nice. <laughs> Somebody would want me. <laughs> I've broken an old ex sign right. We try what we're trying to do is cover the the dowel 
and the seam where the paper's been folded over. All right, it just creates a bit more strength. Which is what it's going to need. It's going to go to the stratosphere, for God's sake. Stratosphere is space. space is we all space. know that. You all know what? We know what stratosphere is. Yes, I know. I was just making a joke. Do you think that was funny? I, I think, think it was so. funny. I don't think so. Yeah. I'm like George. <laughs> joke. Hope you got something else to do today that's more interesting than watching me trying to build a kite. It's very cool. <laughs> very cool. Look at that. I would never buy a kite again if this works. I would have got a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's uncomplicated, mind you. I did went down a, when we were down at Painsville a few months ago, and I did buy a kite, a kit kite, and it was a box kite, a modern box kite. It took me about two hours to put together was the most stupid thing I've ever brought in my life. I set, I launched it from the oval down at Painesville, a strong wind, the string broke, and it took over, flew over a bloody fence in a tree. And I climbed up the edge of the fence and get a retriever thing, and I pulled it back and shoved it in a bag, and that's it. It's the most stupid bloody thing. Then you, got that, then you got that giant, was it a dragon one? That was really good. That must have been better quality because that hasn't... It was less complicated. And that got up so high, that kite. I know, went up the stratosphere. It was really good. Oh, no. You had all these people watching. They thought, who's that silly old fart Silly player? old man with a guy. Okay, kite. Who's that silly old man with a guy? All right. Now, you're going to have to tune in tomorrow afternoon if it's windy. And we'll take this down to the uh, Pioneer Park Oval. We've got to find a tail. It has to have a tail, so. What are we going to make the tail out of? Oh, what do you think? Some sticks? Some sticks? No, the tail has to be made out of fabric. Then you have to have it long and light. Does it have to be fabric? Well, what else are you going to make it out well, of? I don't know. Like, could you cut up strips of the brown paper? Or like, no, just like, could you? Could you do that if people didn't have fabric? No, it's got to be fabric because it flops around in the breeze and catches the currents. And they're not ones on vines either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. So I bet you're riveted for tomorrow, aren't you? It'll be a bloody... Cool. Where, um, out of curiosity, because yeah, I actually don't know this, where do you tie this string to? Is That that would be really important, I would assume. Well, like, if you don't tie it on, you won't be able to go up anywhere. No, I mean, like... To make sure that it goes up, that obviously you need to put it on a certain. Like, do you go from there to there? No, there, no, or? it just ties in the center. Oh, there. okay. Yeah, cool. Uncomplicated. Have two fixing points. You've got to have two pieces of line. Oh, do you really? Okay. Well, you do. It helps. I mean, what are pops looking down on us, going, you, you still... twats? <laughs> not very nice, is it? Better not having a long suffering father, let alone dragging it let alone dragging it a poor old deceased grandfather around. <laughs> what? Oh no. I was just thinking about Grand's launching yummy. Don't say anything inappropriate. No, no. Especially on the internet, and come back to bite you. Really? Because you're the you're the father that has been trying to sell me no, on the video. No, I've been trying to give her away. <laughs> I'll pay you to take her. She's 33, she can't cook. I'll let has, you in on a secret. If has, I couldn't cook, I'd has, be dead by now. She has aspirations. Oh, she had to live on takeaway. Oh, that's not true. She has aspirations of being an artist. <gasps> don't do that. Well, you don't want to be an artist. No, I'm a good artist. I know. There you go, look at that. Now, tomorrow, when all that dries and the wind is not gale force, we'll wander out, we'll find some fabric from the quilter in the sewing room, and we'll launch it and we'll see how we go. It should be very interesting, guys. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers.